A South Korean retail brokerage is planning to package Berkshire Hathaway's Class B shares into an ETF that's leveraged to provide 200% of the daily performance of Berkshire. Kiwoom Securities is teaming up with Milwaukee-based Title Investments to launch that ETF. The idea might not sit all that well with Warren Buffett. He once called derivatives like this financial weapons of mass destruction. The ETF listing is not yet finalized. It is awaiting approval from South Korea's financial regulator. Um, but yeah, uh, ETF that would look at the Class B shares, which are now $467. That was the affordable way to get in, still more affordable than the Class A shares, which are north of $700,000 a piece. Uh, but when Berkshire first had the Class B shares, it was part of a transaction that would allow average investors to get in instead of having to buy in bits mm -hmm. and pieces that you would see settled in other, other places, too. And why does he have an arc? Of all the cash? Cash arc? Yeah, why? Why? Question. Yeah. Why? Can you tell me? I can. We can speculate. Becky, can you yeah, tell Yeah, we us? certainly can. And, and the speculation has revolved. He's done, revolved. Pretty, well. <clears> he's done pretty well over the years. Not all timing, not all right. macro. Well, he's never been a market timer. No. That's... He's got a lot of cash, and yeah. he's been raising More cash. than $300 billion. He's been selling off everything from Apple know. shares to uh, Bank of America and building up that cash hoard. Um, part of it has restabilized the portfolio to some extent. I'm not convinced it's a great time to be coming in as an administration. I mean, it looks like it is. It's almost as good as when we were in Davos and he was the toast of the town, remember? That was the worst time in the world for what was... Well, that was ahead of the pandemic, great. yes. Yeah. yes. But, and everything else. but well, you're just saying from how long we've been in uh, you know, the markets a run on the, the... We have not how, seen how, a recession that we've been waiting for for several and years. And we've had a 40-year you know, bull market in bonds that, that is over. I don't know. Maybe we've got it under control. Again, we'll see. We'll get a number today. The big question is if you really cut government regulation and unleash business, what that, what that does. But, but cutting all this stuff to the bone is initially... There's going to be some temporary pain, I would as, imagine. As Elon Musk has pointed out, too. Exactly. Okay, okay meantime, uh, Palantir Technology is saying it has renewed a multi-year agreement now with mining giant Rio Tinto. That deal extends Rio Tinto's access to Palantir's artificial intelligence platform. And Palantir is saying Rio Tinto could use that platform to help it manage plant operations, monitor geotechnical risk, and coordinate dozens of unmanned trains that carry iron ore. Rio Tinto planning to build and test such use cases and then deploy them safely and we'll see whether this turns to even a bigger business for Palantir. That stock, of course, has been on a massive run this year, up now at $60.42. And uh, shares of Flutter, Flutter Entertainment, are higher. The parent of U.S. sports uh, betting company FanDuel beat analyst estimates for the third quarter. Uh, but it warned uh, of a tough start to the current quarter. DraftKings uh, made similar comments last week, saying fourth quarter sales had been hurt by less favorable betting results. P people were winning. Uh, Flutter CEO Peter Jackson said sports betting operators across the board had been hurt by October NFL results that caught bookmakers by surprise. I think they said it, what was it with the, it would have to be that a lot of the favorites ended up winning. For a while this year, a lot of the underdogs mm -hmm. were winning. Yeah. Our producer thinks you actually have bought a kitten caboodle for, for your cat. It's like a sweater. A kitten caboodle? No, I have not. It's, that would be a good name for My cat would not like If it. you were a clothier for cats, Kitten Caboodle might be yeah, good. That is a good name. Might be a good name. Yeah.